Henri Joseph Fenet was born on July 11, 1919, in Césaire, in eastern France. In his younger years, he studied literature at the University of Paris. At the outbreak of World War II, he volunteered for the French army and was commissioned as an officer with the rank of lieutenant. He was wounded twice and decorated with the Croix de Jap. Following the French surrender, he chose to stay and join the Armistice Army of Vichy France serving in the Colonial Regiment in Mauritania until October 1942. On his return, Fenet joined the newly formed collaborationist paramilitary French militia before volunteering in October 1943 for the Waffen-SS. In July that year, the Vichy propaganda minister, Paul Marion, began a nationwide recruitment for the Waffen-SS in France. The Committee of the Friends of the Waffen-SS was established by the minister and proceeded to actively recruit men who were between the ages of 20 and 25 who were physically fit. Around 3,000 applied in the first few months, many were college students. The organization also spent time trying to recruit experienced French officers, like Fenet. In October 1943, he volunteered for the Waffen-SS, and was sent to the SS school at Bad Tolls, in Germany. In March 1944, he received the rank of senior assault leader, the equivalent of first lieutenant in the Waffen-SS, and was given command of a company of the newly formed 8th SS Assault Brigade Frank Reich. In September 1944, Fenet and his company were sent to Kunitz, in Thuringia, in eastern Germany, where they joined other French recruits to form a new formation later known as the SS Division Charlemagne, joining them were French collaborators who had fled the Allied advance in the West, as well as Frenchmen from the German Navy, the National Socialist Motor Corps, or NSKK, the organization TOT and the French Militia Security Police. In February 1945, the unit was upgraded to a division, by this time it had a strength of 7,340 men and he was named the commander of a battalion, which he led until April 1945. The unit was sent to fight the Soviet army in Poland, but by February 25, 1945, it was attacked at Hammerstein, now present-day Czarnay, in Poland, by troops of the Red Army's 1st Belorussian Front, and the Soviet forces split the French force into three pockets. In heavy fighting against the Soviet Red Army, seven officers and 130 men were killed, while eight officers and 661 men were wounded. Fenet's battalion was part of one of the groups that was able to break out and make it back to German lines. They were evacuated by the German Navy to Denmark and later sent to Neustrelitz, in eastern Germany. On Monday, April 23, 1945, the Reich Chancellery in Berlin ordered Brigade Führer Gustav Krukenberg to proceed to the capital. About 350 men from the remains of the SS Charlemagne Division chose to go to Berlin. They'd been reorganized as Assault Battalion Charlemagne, and was attached to the SS Division Nordland. In the days which followed, fighting was very heavy and by April 28, 108 Soviet tanks had been destroyed in the southeast of Berlin within the S-Bahn. The French squads under there command of Fenet accounted for about half of the tanks. The wounded Fenet withdrew with the battalion to the vicinity of the Rye Aviation Ministry in the Central Government District under the command of Wilhelm Munk. For the combat actions of the battalion during the Battle of Berlin, Fenet was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on April 29, 1945 by Wilhelm Munk. By the evening of April 30th, the French SS serving under Fenet had destroyed another 21 Soviet tanks. SS Charlemagne and its remaining men under the command of Fenet were one of the last units defending Hitler's bunker. On May 2, 1945, most of the surviving French forces left in Berlin had surrendered to the Soviet army. The rest surrendered to British forces at Badklin and Wismar. He was handed over to the Soviets by the British. The Soviets held him in a PKW camp before treating his foot wound at a hospital, he was then returned to a POW camp and later released. He was arrested instantly upon his return to France. In 1949, 
he was convicted of being a collaborator, and sentenced to 20 years in prison, with hard labor, he served half and was released in 1959. After his release, he appeared in several documentary films and television programs. He also ran a small independent car dealership. Henri Fenet died on September 14, 2002, aged 83, in Paris, France.